How big of a deal is it that some of these Republican candidates, like Michelle Bachman and Rick Santorum, are signing this traditional values uh, pledge, if you will, uh, uh, opposing same-sex marriage in, in uh, Iowa as opposed to others refusing to sign, like Tim Pawlenty, Mitt Romney, among well, others? Well, it says some other things than, uh, than that, which are even in many ways more disturbing. Um, can I say, this just drives home what a great point it would be uh, to move this first Republican primary to Florida, the way the Florida state wants, <laughs> have, it, have it in a big urban state. Uh, what is, the people who are signing this are the people who are pinning their hopes on Iowa, where social conservatives are very strong in the caucuses. You have to spend a lot of time in those caucuses. You have to be very committed. The people who are not signing are the people who are not making the big commitment to Iowa. Um, and the anomalous role of Iowa in Republican politics, and it's a question mark. It's not like the Democratic Party, where you must win Iowa. And the Republican Party almost, you don't, you, you must you, not win Iowa. I hear this argument about dumping the Iowa caucuses this first every four years. Hasn't happened. Probably is not going to happen. I wish it would, though. Yeah, but a lot of people probably do. But it looks like Iowa's got a lock Look, Wolf, I'm an evangelical. Uh, my wife is an ordained minister. I'm, I'm a Christian author. I think this pledge is stupid. It is idiotic. And so for those Republicans who are refusing to sign it, I agree with them. If you're married, when you stood at that altar and pledged before God, then that's the commitment you made. Also, if you are elected, you, ho you are to recite a pledge that is in the Constitution. That's the only one that matters. And so this is, this is ridiculous. It simply detracts. And look what happened to Santorum and Bachman. Now they have it to explain the slavery, the slavery language, whereas the rest of the people saying, I'm not dealing with that nonsense. This has nothing to do with the real issues that people care about. There was a preamble in there right. in that document suggesting that black people had it better under slavery as opposed to now. Pathetic. Right. Right. Well, why... Uh well, the pledge point, as Roland says, is very powerful. I mean, that, that why you want to allow your commitment to be um, segmented by these different groups, each of whom has, um, and why, why is it, by the way, only the family people? Where are the people who are concerned about better roads? Don't they have a pledge? The farmers, shouldn't they have a pledge? And eventually, you are beholden to so many people you forget who's elected. Right.